it's been explosive. <laughs> um, you know, we're trying to keep up and it's, it's hard actually because we're getting so many phone calls and questions and, you know, concerns. And we started this, you know, obviously as volunteers, we all have full-time jobs. Some of people are ill with, you know, Lyme disease and it's, it's coming to us right now. So we're trying to help as much as we can to educate others. We had to stop collecting ticks via Lyme Western New York um, just because of the calls that were coming in. We were just becoming inundated and unfortunately with myself being the one that was collecting them, it was just too much for myself to be able to keep up on. Um, but it is a free um, site that we use and laboratory um, with the Bay Area Lyme Foundation. And as I said, it's a free, um, a free testing that they have and you can actually download it's very easy, um, the application to send in the tick. Um, the only thing that you would have to pay for is for postage. Um, one of the things that we are asking is um, on our Lime Western New York page for people to actually um, share those results with us. But eventually what we will do is collect that data on the amount of ticks that were collected in different geographic areas of Erie County, um, as well as Niagara County, um, because ticks do not know borders. So it's very important to understand, you know, in our neighboring um, counties, how many of those ticks are collected that actually have the disease.